Hey Kalan and welcome back to Prey. When we last left off, we just had a massive battle. Well, maybe a massive battle is a, an understatement. But uh, a big fight in here, and uh, it was glorious. Uh, a lot easier than I thought it would be, actually. And uh, my god, these things make some serious noise. Right, anyway, I want to try something. Yes! Get some exotic materials from their bodies. Uh, not sure that's really worth it in the grand scheme of things, but uh, hey, why not? Exotic materials, right? I'm sure we should find a use for them. Although, it doesn't appear to be that good at breaking them down. The radius isn't that huge. Anyway, let's get out of here. We, of course, now have the arming key. Which uh, potentially means that we can uh, blow this joint. However, there's still we still have stuff to do, um, and I'm not overly convinced that uh, setting this thing off is going to go as smoothly as uh, we have been informed. In mind, let's continue when the game's uh, ready, of course. Yeah, man. Come on. At least if we find anybody, we now have like a safe haven. Micah, which is good. Morgan is making her way to you now. Warning you and anyone else so you don't shoot her accidentally. Or on purpose. Morgan? <laughs> I thought she was exiled. What? Where are you? Left because, never mind. Airlocks and lifts are locked up. Like my lungs. Paraplexes. I'm even seeing the spots now. You were right. <clears throat> even if I could get my booster shots from my office. But I think I can get us out. <clears throat> By cycling the main reactor to bypass the lock -off. I know it sounds crazy, but I can walk you through it. I do it myself, but... I'll just get here, alright? All right, so we need to reboot the place. Sounds plausible. Um, what about her office? We might be able to get her booster shots. Oh, fuck me! Hey, pal. Didn't see you there. Ooh, you had some good shit on you too, buddy. Don't mind if I do. Right. So, where would her office be? Can we? Oh, we really need to visit a recycler. We really need to visit a recycler. So that puppy's all jacked up. That's nowhere near being jacked up. Where's our Q-beam? Uh, I mean, we could do up the reloading speed, I guess. Did we not upgrade? Oh, my. I guess I didn't. Save at the end, I suppose. Maybe. Interesting. Okay, well. Let's upgrade this. I don't know why. Because I'm not sure how much use we're going to get out of this thing. But, sure. What else do we need on it? Suppose we can do that. And then the old girl's maxed out. The only weapon we really need to upgrade, we need two more for that. And then if we get any spare, I suppose, we'll max that out. I guess we still need quite a few. No massive point in upgrading it ourselves. Uh, making any of those ourselves, because we just don't need them anymore. Kind of like Neuromods. We have everything I really want. Now, if this gentleman came from up here... Is there anything else? We were given a security card, weren't we? No, obviously not the one for that, though. God damn it, I really want to get in there. Now, there's usually... Usually a few ways to getting into every area, but... This one... Doesn't look so... Because there's no vents that we can climb up into that I can see. 
And thank you. You can do me up, boss. Nah, not too bad. Not too bad. I've had worse. Yeah, there's no way we can get in here. Because there's no other doors that we can build up to. God damn it. I mean, this one was even trapped. So, I don't know. Never mind. Let's get out of here. So, we can... Grant Lockwood is that way. And the reactor control room is that way. Why is Grant Lockwood flagged up? Ah, uh, yes. He's on the Talus 1 exterior, but that could be anywhere. Alex's room for an escape pod key. I guess we could go back to that. Alright, well. Um... As much as I want to advance the story, I want to also do all of these side missions. That goes down. I need to have a quick look around everywhere for the bells, uh, alarm bells, atmosphere control. Aha! More beasties! I like me some beasties. They go down good. And they all seem to have some nice stuff, so... You know, there's that. Got another one above us. You can repair my armor. Another one up there. Let's try the Q-beam on this guy. Uh... Just to give it a go. Get a feel for it. See how good it actually is against these things. Hey, buddy. Um. I don't know. It's not great, is it? Where did he go? There he is. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's not great, to be fair. It certainly isn't going to set the world on fire. You know, I still just like the shotgun. It's primitive, and it works. I don't think there's going to be anything in there. Nice to see a few enemies have been repopulated, though. Gives us uh, a few more materials to nab. I need to keep my eyes peeled for these damn alarms. I guess we don't really need to go back through there. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, get on with it. Oh, there's that music again. I really like this uh, track. So let's go back outside. Let's see if we can find him. That kind of is a bit of a brutal um, quest to find this guy. Because they tell you to go outside into the exterior, which is fine. But the exterior is huge. Like, almost... Um, if you're just looking for a single body, it's almost impossibly big to find someone. Alright, oh well. Let's give it a go. Let's uh, junk all of our junk. Anything else we want to break down? Could probably break down like half of this. We just don't need that much. Um, probably like break down half of those as well. Easily break down half of those. I mean, honestly. 
Um, get you in there. You in there. Didn't know we had two of these. That's a little bit better. And it's still the synthetic material that is the hardest to bloody find. I mean, these are worth a bit of synthetic. These are worth no synthetic. Like, pretty much everything in this game, like all the materials in this game are easy to get apart from synthetic. You get a lot from spare parts though. I say a lot, it's not a huge amount. I would have thought that you would have got a lot of synthetic from um, from that because that I would assume would be a very synthetic uh, product. Med kits we get a lot for, but we'll leave it at that for now. Med kits are something that are, is always going to be useful. Look at that though. Look at that. Holy shit! Now, is there anything we could really, we could probably use some shotgun shells? Um, hello. Yes, well, anything to stop them from shooting me in the back, really. Uh, now, shotgun shells. Let's get a couple of boxes of these, because we are kind of getting low on these, I suppose. Let's get three boxes. I still think, so far, the shotgun is the best weapon. Like, by quite a margin as well. Right, let's go back outside. I mean, maybe outside it's not overly great. And the handgun is certainly better. Uh, you get some more handgun bullets. The trouble with the handgun is you can just tear through the ammo so fast for very little reward. Disruptor gun has very limited application. The glue gun is pointless, really. I mean, yeah, it slows down enemies, but... I mean, honestly, who cares about that when you've got the shotgun? I think the glue gun was a nice uh, weapon in theory. But uh, in all honesty, it's not that practical. Especially when you have all of these extra um, abilities. Yeah. I'm not sure, actually, thinking about it, if the glue gun would be very good at um, the nightmares. Maybe if it's really buffed. And talking of buffs, we do have some more uh, inventory, uh, what are they called? Weapon upgrades to apply. Okay, so back out here. Human corpse, human corpse. I mean, that's the other thing. I mean, I guess human corpses do show up, but you have to get really close. Jessica, what's this? Oh, hello. Oh, are you serious? Are you fucking serious right now? Adorable. Right, anyway, that's cool. Uh, I thought that was going somewhere else. Uh, so, do we have any more updates? Grant Lockwood. 
Yeah, no map, of course. I can't destroy Talus Snow. Grant Lockwood, employee... Ah, was fired and scheduled to leave. But skipped getting on the shuttle. HR made the shuttle uh, made the situation worse by deactivating his tracking bracelet. Yeah, so we actually did activate his tracking bracelet. So he should be pinged up, right? Surely. And we have enemy contacts. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What was that? Okay, there was an enemy. Ah, there you are. Let's try something a little bit fancy, shall we? Right. Okay, I guess that does actually work. Kind of. I mean, more or less. But again, not ultra useful. Thanks, buddy. So, more bodies. Airlock power plant, hull breach. Who are you? Do we fiddle with you? I guess so. I mean, I assume there's somewhere where we can actually put a location beaker on him, but I thought we did that. We could go back to deep storage. Whole breach hardware labs, human corpse. Let's check this. I mean, he's probably going to be somewhere that's obvious. But at the same time, somewhere that's uh, out the way. I doubt he's just going to be in plain sight somewhere. Arbitorium. Reactor room, hole breach. Another human corpse, but that's the one we've just fiddled with. Airlock. All of these damn airlocks are now locked again, aren't they? Yeah. Now, the whole breach in the cargo bay, wasn't that how we got out of here in the first place? What do you have? Yeah, hindsight's pretty bad, helping those people, even though we're going to waste them all anyway. Kind of harsh, but uh, false hope is better than no hope. It uh, gives them enough to keep going. Nope, you're fragged. Your I don't think it's leaking, buddy. It's just uh, a little bit ruffled. Right. I'll be back in a minute, guys. I'm going to try and find more out about this particular case. Come yeah, on. That's you again, isn't it? The same corpse we keep coming in contact with. Yes. Right, one second. Okay, well... You know what? Let's try going back to a security station and seeing what happens from there. I suppose, really, thinking about it, 
what's probably gone on here? I mean, I thought when we activated his tracking um, bracelet back in deep storage, I thought that that would ping up his location, but I, I mean, I guess... Uh, I guess we've just got to go back and um, manually find him on the locator. I suppose we only activated his collar. We didn't actually track his collar, I guess. That makes sense. Human corpse. Right, there we go. Do you have anything for me, sir? Apparently people have found him by accident. Which is kind of interesting. But it seems a lot of people didn't realise that you had to... Once you activated his bracelet, you then have to go to a security station and track it. I would have thought it all would have been done. And as I've said, yeah, I hate the outside of Talus 1. It's such a ball ache to get around. And with all of these that are now locked, that is kind of a pain as well. I'm guessing we can't unlock these from outside. Or can we? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the only way we can get in was that breach. But I don't think that breach is showing up. I don't think. Ah, was this it? Whole breach power plants? I very much doubt we can get back in through here. What really doesn't help is that there's no map of the out the exterior. Which is a huge pain in the ass. And doesn't really make any kind of sense when you think about it. And of course, that's all washed down with the fact that the outside, the whole outside of the exterior just looks the same. Um, I mean, I couldn't begin to tell you where we were right now. We need to find a cargo bay. Hole breach. Cargo bay, there it is. Okay, cool. So this is our way back in. And then we just need to find a security terminal. And turn it back on. Oh, have we had a look in here? Looks like it, because the doors are open. There's nothing in there. Never mind. Okay, cargo bay. I mean, I guess it is in big, kind of, red letters on the side, but... It really doesn't help you much. Ah, uh, back to some normality. Uh oh, oh no, we didn't actually uh, lose our teeth. That was quite good. I like it when we don't lose our teeth. Need our teeth for the chewing of things. There we go, and not sounding silly when we try to talk. Okay, so we really need a security station. And the only problem with that is the only security station that we really have decent access to, um, of all things, is locked. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So, I guess the only thing we can do now is to kind of continue as planned, I suppose. Which makes sense. Right, let's go back to the life support. 
make our way back through here. As soon as we find a security station, we will track his bracelet. Grant Lockwood. I'm assuming as well that we can track anybody through any security station. Because one of the things that I thought, and I could very well be wrong here, I thought that um, you could only track uh, personnel. Yeah, that's the security station up there. You can only track personnel from this location. Like, if you find the security station in the cargo bay, you can only track staff that worked in the cargo bay, etc. The nightmare is hunting you. Another nightmare, hey? Oh, hey. Hey, pal. Um. Well, let's see what you got, buddy. What have you got? You've got fucking nothing, son. That was just sad. That was sad. Oh, hello. Talking of things that are sad. Let's shut you down. Before you get any funky ideas. Okay. You know what, whilst we're here... Do we actually get much from them? Got synthetic material from something? No, not really. Again, they're a cool item, but they're not really worth it. Now, Grant Lockwood. Why do we come back here? I'm sure we had to come back here for something. Power plant, yeah. Why don't I trust that power plant? Corrupted device. Uh, well, that's that's new. What does that do? So where are you, you son of a bitch? You up there? No. So if we fiddle with it, will it, like, appear and try to kick us in the ass? No. We've just got to find out where the bastard is, and I think he's in here. Yeah. There he is. Let's give him a scan. Oh, well. Shit's about to get real in here. There we go. Machine Mind 3. Alright. Um, come here. I'm just going to take my turret for a walk. I don't know why I'm going to take my turret for a walk. Because this thing's useless. Uh, come at me, guys. There we go. Oh, okay. He's just commandeered my turret. That's jolly bullshit of you, sir. Which I suppose I should have gathered he would do that. Alright. I know there's more bad nicks around here. We've got a phantom. Another phantom up there. Let's see if we can... Hey, pal. You know, this gun is really shit. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. You and me. Uh, in your own time, of course. There we are. What have you got for me? Not bad. These guys kind of are worth fighting, you know. They do have some good stuff on them. Ah, oh, hello. You were a little bit stronger. 
At least you seem to be a little bit stronger. Now, we've got just you left. You guys are literally no worries whatsoever anymore. Anybody else? I guess not. I mean, there probably are others around somewhere, but I don't really want to waste the shells. I don't know if this is even worth repairing. But we'll fix it up. Any more of you phantom bastards? Treasure hunt? Wait, what? Let's just refill our psychic. Treasure hunt? What exactly are we looking for here? Now that bell doesn't have a light on it, so even if we do slap this one, we won't get anything from it. Alright. So, hang on. Objectives. Treasure hunt. Now, I do know, because I read up on this one, we do get something really good from doing this. We get something really, really good for doing that. Oh, hello. See, I find this quite concerning that we're still finding bodies that we haven't looted. Because I really want that security room security card. But the bloody thing could literally be anywhere. And there's another one there. Shotgun critical. What the hell is that? Um, yes, please. I assume this is going to make us do more damage with the shotgun. Obvious, right? Uh, inventory. Suit chip set. Ah, oh, it's going to be a scope chip set, isn't it? Increases the critical chance rate when firing the shotgun. Uh, yes, please. Decreases the cooldown of psi powers. Sneak attack restore. Allows detection of hidden mimics and greater mimics. I don't really care about that, to be honest. No available slot. That's why I'm saying uninstall. Yeah, because the shotgun is our main weapon here. That is really rather tasty. Yeah, turret's not worth using still. I mean, to be fair, the enemies that we are facing now are way out of their little kind of turrety league. Turrets are really only good for the little basic mimics. And even then, they're not exactly stellar. I mean, I'm hoping we're going to get to a point in this game where we've got everything opened up again. And we have a clear, obvious end. Ah. Security station. Yes, a security station. Right. Oh, here we go. 
Yeah, all the different people. What did he work in? And what was his... I wish we could just search for someone. We need Grant. I think this is doing a whole page at a time. You want Grant Lockwood. Grant Lockwood. I'm not seeing him. Where are you two, buddy? Where are you two? Come on. There we go. Right, tracked. Now, in theory... We should be able to find him. And that'll be another one of these sweet little side quests wrapped up. I can't wait until we... I'm hoping that the game isn't kind of... On its, uh, like, end phase now, if you know what I mean. Like, I am hoping we can still reactivate all the airlocks. And we can get to a decent point at the end of the game. Uh, where we can go back through everything. Ah, oh, hello. Uh oh, wrong weapon. I thought you might ignite that, you little bastard. And again? Really? Really? There we go. Right, give me that. They're always worth fighting. Ooh. Hello. You guys are just all over the place today, aren't you? We don't get any funny ideas. Because we are certainly retaking this place. One way or another. Still, it keeps it interesting running across enemies. Just need to keep our ammo count in check. And the standard handgun you get as well seems to be fairly useless. It's kind of funny when you think about it. The only real useful weapon that there has been in this game, at least from my perspective, has been the shotgun. The shotgun is pretty good. But everything else just seems kind of useless. Now, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we can actually see this chap. Oh, whilst we're here. Whilst we're it. We do have an upgrade. Good enough. I mean, we are getting a little bit of synthetic material, but just such small commodities. I mean, look at that. We've almost got 100 exotic material. Oh, well. Nothing we can do about it. In fact, whilst we're thinking about that, let's munch that down. I guess we could upgrade this a little bit. Make it reload quite a bit quicker. So we only really need three for that. Now, let's go find this little son of a bitch that's out hiding in the black. Oh, it makes you hit harder. 
Okay, so drinking booze actually makes you cause more damage with your uh, with your wrench, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Now this is he actually pinned? Yes, he is. Well, boy, do I feel stupid. Like, proper stupid. Right, so the moon... Let's try and... Okay. So the cargo bay is right at the bottom. Now we've got our bearings. Um, yeah, Mr. Grant Lockwood. Wow, he's quite far out there, isn't he? Jesus. So yeah, the cargo bay is right at the tip. I suppose that makes it quite easy to remember, I guess. If I actually took five seconds to, oh, you know, take a lay of my surroundings. Wow. We were never going to find this guy. We were never going to find this guy. He is way out there. So I wonder what he had. Oh, radioactive. Oh, shit. Okay. What have you got, buddy? Frayed wire, spare parts. Propulsion Gen 2. Silence pissed. That's it. Okay. Can't help be a little bit disappointed with that. All that effort for that. Why is he radioactive? Radiation poisoning detected. Seek medical attention. Not quite sure why he's... Is he radioactive because he's so far out into space? So anyway, what's this propulsion gen 2 that we got? Adds a jet booster to the propulsion system. Uh, okay. Resistance to either damage. Recycler shielding. Ah, uh, don't really care about that. We'll have the Propulsion Gen 2. Now, let's see what that takes us up to. Oh. Still gives us uh, the same. Alright. Don't quite understand that then. Because we're still moving at the same speed. Is that what we've already got equipped? Let's see, we've got the Gen 1. If we remove that... No. Or am I... Hang on. Right, adds a jet boost to the Arctic... Yeah, but... Okay, I don't know how... How we use that. Double tap forwards? Nope. No. No, I genuinely don't know what that does. Okay. That's kind of strange. Oh, well. Well, at least we've done it now. That's another thing done. We did get a Neuromod. And we are radioactive. But that's okay, because we can go see the Dr. Droid through here and he can give us a little bit of uh, a flushing should we say right let's go confirm Morgan Yu is born in 2005 god damn 
2005. My God. Makes me feel so old. I mean, you know, this game hasn't technically happened yet, so... Not saying that this, the, the events of this game will definitely happen, but uh, we can hope, damn it. We can hope. Now, I'm pretty sure they had a doctor droid in here. Hey, guys, you're still alive. Good. Remember, life is fleeting. It's only temporary. You don't get too comfortable, etc. I am, yes. I thought there was. These guys are pretty dug in when you think about it. Oh, hang on. It adds a booster to this. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's actually Area secured. pretty cool. I, I thought we were dead for sure. Oh, don't worry about it. You are dead for sure. You just don't know it yet. We're all dead for sure. We're, all of us are going to die, lady. Don't get too uh, attached to your mortal coil. Should I be being more upbeat to these people? I don't know. Right. Let's go. Now we can get out of here. People say I'm a depressive, but I say I'm realistic. And I stand by that, goddammit. Here, yeah, mum. There we go. Right. Now we can carry on with the game. We do need to check out that map system. Now, as I said, I do know what we're going to get from that. And it is something rather spiffy. Something, it's one of those things that would be really, really useful earlier on in the game. So, I mean, we're, we are pretty late in the game. I'm fairly confident of that. I mean, we've been playing this for 30 odd hours now. Which is uh, way more than I thought we'd ever put into it, but... Engineering operator. Is there not one floating around here somewhere? Oh man, that's so cool. Be able to boost up there. Yeah, there you are, buddy. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, hello. What's up there? Hello. What is this? Booster is already... Oh. Okay. Well. But wait, there's more. Oh, have we already, have we already been here? Uh, I guess we possibly have. <gasps> yeah, we still haven't been in there, have we? Ah. Oh, hello. Hello, you. You know what, sir? I'm just going to use my handgun on you. Because you don't deserve anything else. It's been a little while since we've been in here, hasn't it? Now, down here... I saw that. I saw that. Oh. There we go. I guess those turrets are really kicking some ass for us. Cool. Well, I guess those turrets actually... Oh, God. It's a shame this chap uh, got a little bit too big for his britches. Well, remember when I was about to say how good those turrets were? And then they got fucked up? Where are you going, buddy? Whoa, look at the moves on you. My moves are better. 
Well, never mind. Oh, hello. Vaporized. Does kind of feel good. To... Uh oh. Okay, I was going to say give the shotgun a bit of a rest, but I think the shotgun has done sleeping. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Sir, seriously. You always treat a lady like that? This kitty's got claws, so, you know. Any more for any more? Now, this lady here, I wonder... I'm going to put down a hard save here. Because she mentioned something about going to her room and getting her meds. Is that you guys making all that damn noise? I guess it was. I guess it was. Right. Ah, oh, this is the big door that we can get through. Ah, okay, in the coolant room. So, in that case, by that logic, I want. I'm sure we could get in here. By that logic, I wonder if she, her supervisor card, would let us into the security room. Uh. I have my doubts. There's another turret. Another two turrets here. Um. And of course, I did not want to hack. Lazy game developer is lazy. You know what? Let's just take the hit. I can't be bothered. In fact, I don't know why I'm wasting uh, these repair parts on that at all, because there's no point. It doesn't... they don't do anything. I don't think I'm over-exaggerating when I say those turrets are useless. Is this the coolant room? No, this is part storage. But... It will allow us to get down here, which in, oh, in, oh, hello. Did we not grab all this stuff? I think last time we were here, we were pretty limited on our space, if I remember correctly. What about here? Was she here? This looks like a possible area that we didn't explore. Possibly. Well, this place is certainly falling apart. I'm guessing this just is not the cooling coolant room. Uh, map. Coolant chamber. Access the reactor control main plant. I can't destroy Talus without Alex's arming key, but I'm stuck down here. Rebooting the station reactor will remove the lock. Ah, 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 ah on the air. Yeah, and then I can move freely around the station. Last seen in the coolant chamber. Oh, oh, hang on, guys. I'm having a headache with pictures. Didn't we see a body floating around in there a while ago? Now, the coolant chamber is above us. 
I believe. Yeah, through here. No, that can't be right. Oh, the coolant chamber is down. So this coolant chamber. Right, this is the coolant chamber. Okay, I'm with you. So she should be up here somewhere. I guess. Some. Oh, hello. What's up here? Hello, my dear. Any bodies lying around? I just want to fiddle with your body. That sounds really bad. I want to fondle your corpse. I shall be gentle. I promise. I only want to reach deep into your delicious pockets. Well. I can't see any stiffs up here. I guess really what we could do if we really struggle finding her, we could just go back and tag her uh, on the... What do you call it? On the security computer. I guess that would make sense. I guess that would make a hell of a lot of sense. Hmm. Guys, I'm not seeing a. Ah, storage room. I'm not seeing a corpse here, guys. Ooh, have we been in there? I'm going to say we have... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, that's the grounding resistor. So where is she? Logic says she should be up here. Let's go tag her body. Got to find out what she was called, cause I don't remember names good. Now, what was she, what was her name? That's what we want. We want la da di la da da. Um, engineer is hiding. Right, reboot. So, Alex's arming key. Talia Brooks. And that would be power plant. Talia, 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 Talia. Talia Brooks. Alright, well, that would have been a really, really fucking smart thing to do like a year ago but okay hey at least we've done it now okay ah oh well okay then that looks like she burnt to death um unlucky I guess oops what have you got for me, my dear? You have broken cooler fan, suit repair kit, transcribe, very nice, neuro mod. What? Ooh. Oh, and she did. Well, she definitely sounds like a bull buster. Ah, she's dead now. Okay. So now... Right, here's the thing. I really do want to know if we can get her meds. 
That's just a standard phantom. Should we see how good this is on that? On a phantom. Pretty good. Actually, I guess. Oh, we've got a whole new area to explore. Uh, where is she? Oh, okay. I'm going to hard save it here because if she dies, I'm actually going to look this up. If she dies when we go in here, I'm going to see if there's a way of saving her. Hello. I thought I was going to die. <coughs> well, sooner than I thought I was going to die. <laughs> Where did that thing come from? Was it Tony? The way it was looking at me. I get up, <laughs> except for my legs and my lungs and my nervous system. Don't be surprised. Power plexus, remember? You warned me. The boosters are in my office. No way I'm getting there now. But the leaks, I'll get your boosters. I was serious before. I think we can bypass the lockdown. The reactor control room. <clears throat> There's a panel for shutting down everything. The whole station. The computer will scream at you, but just do it. Then pray it all comes back when you cycle the power. It should. It will. Now, go. Hey, we can find her medicine. Oh, we've got a time limit for this. Um, we've got two hours to find her medicine. You don't remember her, but she remembers you. She hid her condition to work aboard Talos One. When you found out, she should have been sent back to Earth, but she made an exception. I'm not sure if that makes you responsible. Now, she won't. Well, not really. Uh, yeah. I definitely do want to help her. I'm not that heartless. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say we probably can't do this until we've lifted the lockdown. And we have been recording for an hour now. Right. Let's have a look. Why would they give you so much time? Like I say, the only reason I can imagine is because... Because we can't get back there just yet. Oh god. These guys are just constantly respawning now. Hey, pal. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Uh, this way. Yeah, because two hours, that seems like a long time. While well, she's patiently waiting to die and all that. Pretty good of her, to be honest. I think if I was in a no-win situation like that, I'd shoot myself. Just say. Can't be a fun way to die. Ah, yeah, see, yeah. Just as I thought, we need to recombobulate everything first. Okay, well, that's fine. Confirm. Right, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go back down to where she was. I mean, two hours to save her. Bloody hell. You know what that reminds me of a little bit? That's making me think of Blue Stinger. Where you have to get the guy's heart pills. Oh, what a great game that was, Blue Stinger. Very underrated. I mean, it wasn't perfect. You know, you know it uh, was very rough around the edges. But um, it was a good game. I genuinely believe the reviews at the time were a little bit unfair. 
And I don't actually want to stop playing this. And do you know what's really cool about that? Because I'm on holiday, what I can do is... I can uh, end this video, right? And then I can just record more. That's a great thing about holiday. Video games. All the cool stuff that you can't do when you work. You can now do. Yeah, man. I really need new SSD as well. I've got loads of Windows updates and stuff that the computer keeps screaming at me to do. But <laughs> my SSD is full. Okay. I'm a coming, baby. Don't you worry about it. We could probably have a better look in here now. You know, now we can just, like, nip around all over the place. But I do think we, uh... Ooh. I do think we kind of found everything here. At least I think we did. Maybe not everything. Sounds like there's a drone somewhere. The floor is lava, guys. The floor is lava. Oh, hello. Did you see that? Because I think I did. Eh, it's nothing. I thought it was a transcribe. Uh, that engineering operator. Hey, buddy. You're not doing a great job there. Alright. Ouch. Hey, pal. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh well, that could have been better. Um, okay, <laughs> I guess those things eventually break. In hindsight, was it worth it? Probably not. Right, okay, so... Oh! Okay, that's nice. Just sticks us here. Hey, pal! No, 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 no! You know what? It, it doesn't matter. It's not that important, guys. But is that important? That was important. Didn't notice those little bits and pieces tucked away last time. Going down. Um. I love the mobility in this game. I really do. It feels so freeing. The fact that you can just bounce around and fly all over the place. It feels great. Yeah. Med Bay. Sweet. Well, I'm now a qualified engineer. Thanks to the chips in my brain. So, there's that. Hands on electronics. There's our dying friends. Typhon Laws. Disruptor battery. Ooh, three neuromods. Very nice. Right guys, I'm going to end this video here, so thanks very much for watching, and as always, till next time.